While no two personalities are exactly the same, the majority of people fall into one of two personality categories. Either they're more introverted or more extroverted. In this video, we'll teach you how to determine which camp you belong in by taking into account your level of enjoyment of social situations, how you feel when you connect with people, and some of your own preferences. Number 1. Social Situations how do you carry yourself around a crowd of people such as during a party? You might be an introvert if you typically prefer to listen to talk. Instead of being the life of the party, you would be more of an attendee. You are more likely to be an extrovert if you're talkative. You're more approachable and smile more, which makes people want to be around you. Occasionally, how you behave also depends on how at ease you are with those around you. Number 2 energy levels. What helps you get your energy back? How do you mentally or emotionally recharge? Everyone needs to sleep, but some people also need some alone time to refuel. These people are typically introverted. Extroverts get their energy from socializing and being around other people. Basically, extroverts need to get things out externally, while most introverts require time to themselves internally. Number 3. New People Do you find it simple to trust somebody you've just met or aren't that familiar with? Introverts prefer to have a small number of really close friends and view the rest as nice acquaintances since they do not trust people as readily as extroverts do. In general, extroverts are more open and trusting and they regard more people to be friends than just acquaintances. Number 4. Dreams and Aspirations Do you want to work in politics, education, or some other field that requires you to deal with people all the time? If you have always enjoyed public speaking, you may be an extrovert, since extroverts are more inclined to seek out careers that involve a high number of interactions with others. Not all introverts shy away from speaking in front of groups of people or careers requiring social interaction such as acting, politics, or law. While many choose a less sociable workplace, some introverts learn how to be more outgoing. Some people prefer to work from home or in a cubicle at a workplace. Number 5. The Brain or the Heart Do you feel more or do you think more? Introverts are found to have more blood flow in the frontal lobes and frontal thalamus of the brain, which is used for thinking, planning, and problem-solving. Therefore, introverts can be classified more towards the thinker's category. In extroverts, more blood flow goes to the anterior cingulate gyrus and the temporal lobes, which are used to process feelings and sensory and emotional stimulation, which means extroverts are more emotional and can be classified as more towards the feelers category. While this is mostly true, don't generalize about people based on these characteristics. Number 6. Privacy Do you prefer your door to be opened or closed? It's more likely that introverts will wish to keep doors closed since they value their privacy. Extroverts don't mind leaving their doors unlocked because they value social interaction above being alone. Keep in mind that depending on the social situation and scenario, introverts might behave like extroverts, and the same is true for the opposite. Finally, just as it's uncommon for someone to be fully controlled by the right or left hemisphere of the brain, it's also uncommon for someone to be completely introverted or completely extroverted. An ambivert is someone who exhibits both extroversion and introversion, and if you would like to see a video on the defining characteristics of an ambivert, please like and comment on this video.